Hello everyone, this is Okuna and welcome to Galaxy on Fire 2 after Supernova episode 6. Let's dig right in. As I mentioned last time, to get a little bit more money I had to grind a bit of money and uh, how to do that best. First and foremost, get a big ship with lots of cargo. So I got the Rhino, which uh, fills out most of the screen here. This Rhino comes normally with a cargo space of around 480, but I did have two Rhoda black holes, so now I have 1440 tons of cargo space. It is optimized for cargo hauling, so it has no primary weapons, just a turret. And I fit the HHAT Archimedes auto turret into it. But this still means you should not go into any fight you'd like, but rather avoid it. For better avoiding, I still have a where is it a booster so I can get out of lots of situations quite fast and if it gets hotter and hotter I do have the teal plating and the fluxed matter shield so normally that is totally okay and the car door drive should help you in getting out of the rest of the situations Okay, so let's do our last cargo run and bring what we have to Loma. And also in Loma we might get the next ship for what we made the money. I was in Aquila so theoretically I could use the jump gates but it's faster to use the cargo drive and I do have the money for the simple energy cell. Let's go to Queen Eros since our ship might be there. Okay, in the Aquila system there might be some pirates, but they are not of interest. And we just cardle away. Now the pirates here in Loma are a little bit more pesky. We so, normally the pirates the pirates demand 2% of your shipment's value to let you move freely in the system. In your case, that comes to 94,690 credits. Do you want to pay this amount? So, hmm. For now, we do. If we don't, we are getting attacked. Okay. But normally the shield and hull plating is okay to reach the station before the pirates manage to get to me. The station is a little bit farther away than normal, so they will pummel you with their shots, but normally hull plating is okay. Okay, so what have we got here? Some of the more profitable goods are the rare animals, which I got for around 2,900 in Aquila, and here we have 3,569. So normally you should concentrate on the expensive goods, which you can sell with a hefty markup. That normally means rare animals are good, organs are also quite nice. These I got in, in pan, not for 3.8, but for I'd say 4.5. That still makes 2,000 or right a piece. The Vosk organs are also very, very profitable, profitable, and you can get those uh, about 25,000. Uh, well, the 19 
if you're very very lucky but then imagine if you can get around 200 of those wasc organs and every of those organs is a 7000 markup so that really helps you making money if a little boost card comes your way you can use that and the towels I took either because they are towels and you need towels and you can get them very very cheap like four credits in Aquila so they're easy money and uh, if you have the cargo space then you can use this so this is the other cash crop implants yes if you manage to get them under 5000 they are also a hefty markup 4000 or 5000 credits per piece so look at the credits in the lower right corner and also the alcoholic drinks you can usually sell them for the double here in Loma so in that last run I think we did make around 2 million credits and that sounds quite nice to me so also that means we can now afford the blood star which has a little less armor than the rhino also less cargo hold more primary weapons more secondary weapons also a turret much more equipment slots and a bit more handling so we will see in this episode how nice that ship handles it costs 13 million three hundred and sixty five thousand credits since I will not sell the Rhino and will transport that to Shima do you want to sell your old ship or keep it and have it brought to your station I want to keep it congratulations you now own a brand new blood star all weapons and equipment that won't fit into your new ship were moved to your cargo hold that means uh, none so let's equip the disruptor laser I've used in the past which is still a very 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 nice weapon and uh, some nearby impulse sneaks into my cargo hold well not for long I do not need such a primitive weapon okay another one sneaked up okay got it let's see keep those just to be complete the HH auto turret Archimedes we have already used and now we can re-equip some of the equipment we had to unequip while using the Rhino and we still have two blank equipment slots so I think I will go to Shima and look if I do have something to equip there so this is the blood star quite a large ship not as large as the rhino but what the heck let's take a look uh, first at the most wanted roster I think we shall now go into the Midorian most wanted roster and the next one is in Mr. Uh, Tal Talena with an accent on the E. He is currently departed from Ukanima in the Nimrod system and is uh, traveling to Arki in the Vika system. Let's note that.
Nombur Talena is an ex-fighter pilot of the Nivellian Armed Forces. In the course of bloody incident on Mahasa, he killed four of his comrades with a dismounted gram blaster after they had questioned the Nivellian government. Consequently, he was admitted to a mental facility afterwards, but managed to escape during his transfer to Anissa. Talena is extremely violent and has sworn to kill every high-ranking Maido official who crosses his way. As long as he's free, he poses a serious threat to the public and has to be stopped by any means, by any means necessary. So let's show on the web what that is. It is a deep in Vosk space and well, it's just in Vosk space, so that might make it a little bit easier to identify. Also, it was mentioned that, that in Wanor there might be a, a blueprint for a large and better shield. So perhaps we can get both of that. So first things first, let's go to Shima. right into Camo Club. Uh, still a large ship on the screen. Handles well. Let's see how it handles in combat. And revisit our Camo Club station. Unfortunately, every ship in this game is <laughs> has the same speed and the same booster speeds. And even I think booster speeds do not uh, they do not differ. They just differ in how long the booster is going and how long it takes until it's recharged. It's very very unfortunate since ships with different speeds should are also very very interesting okay so let's visit the hangar and see what we can equip here we can have a look at our nice uh, ship collection we do not need any primary weapons and well i do not need any secondary weapons so ah why not use the Gunan's drill? So, do we need the Nira SPPC one? I do not think so. We still have enough energy cells. We have lots of booze and. Uh, well, nothing more of interest. Do we have yeah, the Shadow Ninja? Well, interesting. We still have one equipment slot free. So, let's get at the equipment a second time. Well, let's use a large cabin. want to tra transport people. Well, then the emergency system, not that I would indeed need it. Okay, no gamma shield and spectral filters. Okay. So one emergency system coming up. That means Where should I visit next? Bika? I think Bika. Okay. Let's go down there. And 
and let's fly in in his direction. I think he wasn't traveling from anarchy in Vika to Nim. Okay, so let's test our new ship. And I think last time I was not on good standing terms with the Vosk. Okay, that might means target practice. It's a nice thing that you can do evasive actions using your coolie head. <sighs> can we attack that ship? Okay, I can attack its turrets. Uh, do I hit those through the hull? Yes. Can I also destroy a capital ship? The boss might not like it, but it might be fun. And I think I'll f I find someone to bribe afterwards. Let's fly a little bit. Of the vicinity to begin a new attack run on that larger ship. That large mosque ship looks very nice, by the way. That nice that I even do not want to destroy it. But for fun. For fun! Pesky little. Okay. Which target is. Ah, this is hittable. Through the hull. Uh, I'm at a blind spot for the big ship here, but I think. No. Let's fly around it. and eliminate some of the smaller pesky ones if they come nearer. The turret is really helpful to see where the next target really is. Okay, where is that one? Here and here. Okay. Might be the main target for the big ship. And do I have any missiles which would help me? Well, it does not look that way. So I will try, but if I would, have, would need a large torpedo, I would think I will break off and look for our criminal first. It might become a little bit boring. Yes, and I think so. Okay. That means fly to the station and pay the bribe and look if there is a diplomat on board to set my status right. And in the meantime, let the turret do its work. Five tons of old riser brandy. Okay. Five tons of magnetar juice. 
lots of liquor dealers in the area. Because of your bad reputation, the station's security inspector demands a bribe before you are allowed to dock. Pay 2,729 credits, yes, of course. And let's look at the space lounge. Hello. No. I have something that might be of interest no. to you. Hello. And uh, no. That makes our journey a bit more, let's say, interesting. And let's visit the Stargate at Tree Tree. This time, let's not go into a fight. We will meet lots of Wosk on our way. Okay. Who is that? Not a Wosk in a Wosk system? Might I be so lucky? Okay, I think these are pirates. At least it does not look like a criminal yet. But still, target practice. This was a busk. Okay. Then next, go to the jump gate. Sh shields and Hull plating are holding. Next station on his journey, Nimrod. Enoch with a jump gate. And surely lots of Wask waiting for me. Ah, there he is. Great. So I'm collecting the bounty on this one. So there is still a boss capital ship, but not firing on me currently. One down. Eight tons of hydraulics. Well. If you insist. So he's using a my Dorian fighter ship. Clearly distinguishable by its special shape. Two wings and a very pronounced nose. And the disruptor lasers are doing the work. Got him. And let's also get rid of Good his to bad minions. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Okay, let's dock at the Sinox station and look if there might be a diplomat. Let's see. I have something that might be of interest to you. No, I'm not interested in a torch What's shield. Real combat? I do want it's some a straight real combat, assignment. Not now. Do this for me, and I'll pay you well. Well, no not interested in that, although I think I will go to Wa-Nor. 
Unfortunately, no diplomat, so we have to fight our way through Wask space. And let's go to Varnor for now. And I think it was Varlurm. Let's see if the tips were right. Car door drive, engage. It's a, a cloudy system. First, let's get rid of the pirates here. And then... There's even one... Oh yeah, one green ship. Let's examine that next. Lots of wask, who would have thought? Far more far away, here is the Valor station. And one. One poor little wasp exiting the station, and beginning and ending his attack run. Let's see if I can get rid of this space of hostiles, be they pirates or wasps which still come continually. This is just a document. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. But first, first things first, dock and see if we can correct our reputation. I do not want to be attacked. Oh, sorry. Fortunately, contrary to other games, the stations here are invulnerable and do not send out some police. Well, at least there is no such thing as a direct police. Yes, pay the bribe. Go to the space lounge and look Hello. around. Ugunorsk. <laughs> yes, this one. Okay. I rehabilitate for 15,840 credits. So, also, let's see what we picked up on our way. Lots of turrets which we can. No, these are turrets which are here on the station. Some rockets, which I do not need. Well, that... That bomb might become helpful. And also, uh, the oppressor, the nuke, well, that might be a little bit better. So we sell that one. The other one has been mounted. Okay, no need for an OptiStone or an Ultra Compact. We do have the Rhoda Black Hole or the Static Thrust. Ah, great. A Midorian signature. That might come in handy sometime. Ah, towels. Wow. You will need them. Here you can see implants, but quite expensive. Still, you could make 1,300 uh, per piece, so why not? We do have the money. Next time we visit Loma, or 
also stock up a bit on energy cells and sell the rest. No, why? Why should we? Oh, we got lots of booze. No, we can sell that when we get to to Loma again later. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, I think next episode we will look after the plans in the ship out there and see what the Mydarian roster has also in store for us and perhaps I will get a new ship if you tip me to what I will or shall get. I think the Spectre might also be quite interesting since I like the Agile and Nimble ships. Also, as usual, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to this channel, it is greatly appreciated, and have a nice day. See ya!